Hi guys, this is Denise Brooks with Alexis Information Systems. Today's video covers mobile scanning using QuickBooks Enterprise. Mobile scanning is a feature that was added in 2018 in the QuickBooks Enterprise subscription. Right now, all of us are currently using QuickBooks Enterprise version 19. So if you have not had a chance to explore this feature, I hope this video will help you start at least. So the mobile scanning helps you speed up the process of shipping your products because you can make a pick list and fill the pick list from an app and there is a warehousing app that is available in your Android or your iPhone that is easy to use. So what to find this feature, which is easily forgotten, go to edit, then go to your preferences, find the tab that says items and inventory. Once you click on that, you will see a button that says advanced inventory. Click on it. Once you click on it, you have multiple tabs and each of them are very easy to follow. What I recommend you do is number one, create your barcodes because you're wanting to do mobile scanning, right? You need barcodes. And in that area of the advanced inventory, you can generate bar barcodes, QuickBooks barcodes, based on the items that you have on your inventory list. So. Um, assuming that you already have an inventory list when you get to this point. You also need to make sure that you have already enabled your shipping providers because really the idea behind this mobile scanning feature, which is different from just scanning barcodes, this is to help you pick your items quickly and be able to ship quickly. So if you don't have the shipping providers yet, then it's not gonna help you. To add a shipping provider, open an invoice, just create an invoice, a blank invoice, click on the ship button and you will see if you haven't enabled a shipping provider yet, it will show you and then you can add your, and you can use USPS, UPS or FedEx. The way that mobile scanning works, it works based on your sales orders. So you need to have a sales order created and from that sales order, then it will make a pick list on the warehousing app. And once the app, the list has been filled, then the inventory is then um, updated. That's how it saves you time in your shipping process. That's all I had for you today. And I hope to see you again next week. Thank you and have a great day.